as Autonomous kicks off over on the Red Alliance. We see that Purple Precision lines up right on the edge of their community so they can roll a cube toward their grid, cross back, and get one of those pre-placed cubes. Looks like a two-cube auto definitely possible for them. One of them looks successfully landed. One of them quite not, not quite rather, in that grid entirely. A quick nudge might be able to fix that as we move forward here in Teleop. Advantage Red, Red Alliance with 51, Blue Alliance with 45. For the Blue Alliance, Wolfpack currently reaching up with their manipulator, trying to sink one of those cones on a cone node in that upper row. That cone, though, does fall to the playing field floor. Luckily, it's right in front of one of those hybrid nodes on the outer grid, actually very close to where a link could start forming for the Blue Alliance. Back over on red, it looks like they might have pulled off their first link on an outer grid, rather their second link. Third link coming on up, as long as the Highlanders are able to Get that cone on the cone node. We've got just one game piece missing across the top, and it looks like Cybertooth reaching up with that cone for themselves. And now we have nine game pieces all across that top row for the Red Alliance. A total of four links so far out of the five they need for the sustainability bonus. Unfortunately, Cybertooth, as that robot is crossing the field, they do tip over on their side midfield. 3940, though, that purple robot is not giving up. We see their manipulator moving around. They definitely have leverage against the playing field wall but I don't see any torque that can push them back up on their wheels. We'll have to see what their recovery attempt looks like. Purple Precision moving around them with a cube for the moment. They launch that cube right into the hybrid node on the floor. It looks like another link active for the Red Alliance. Five links, so a sustainability bonus guaranteed as long as those game pieces stay scored. Blue Alliance finishing off two links. Mars War is doing one of them, and it looks like Wolfpack and Bison working on the other. 23 seconds remaining. Red Alliance still leads it, but Cybertooth still down midfield. That might be a loss of 10 points when it comes to the end game if we can't get that robot docked and engaged. But seven links certainly helping out the Red Alliance. That's a 10 point advantage over the five links the Blue Alliance has so far. We're down to the final moments of the match. Blue Alliance docked and engaged for two. Two robots. That's going to be a bit of a differential in terms of the end game. We will get that final score as soon as we can for match 79. Final score coming up, the winner is the Blue Alliance. 159 to 151 for the Blue Alliance. Sustainability bonus active on both sides of the fields. So that's one ranking point. Blue Alliance also gets the win and that activation bonus for the charge station.